Is that folk music that you play there? Is that how do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, Well, I never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> Is horses sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin, and with us tonight are a trio based in Brooklyn, the Dust Busters, Howdy. which is Craig on fiddle, Eli guitar, and Walker banjo, and they switch instruments a lot. Try and keep it keep the song changing. You know, get a variety of material and instruments and sounds. So where does that first tune come from? Uh, that's an old old square dance tune. I guess we get it from the playing of Burnett and Rutherford, the Kentucky banjo fiddle duo, recorded in the 20s and 30s, and uh, we do a nice version of it to get that that ding dong ding dong ding 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 <laughs> on the recording there. It's definitely old timey. It's a good tune. Yeah. yeah, we like all that old, all the old music that was recorded back before World War II and going back historically all the way, uh, you know, hundreds of years back to the. The early the country. early front frontier days of this country and, and back to the old country, uh, Africa and uh, the British Isles and other places. So how does three three young fellows like you get interested in that old music? A lot of bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our lives ruined. Uh, I met Walker in college and he was into it. I was studying music, jazz, and classical and folk music and sort of. He was playing me some old banjo players from uh, from the mountains, Roscoe Holcomb and 
Hobart Smith, and uh, they really caught my eye. And they kind of heard it in the city, and you know, I think we all heard it on compilations and different media. I heard it growing up um, in, in Greenwich Village, um, and I knew there had been a folk music thing going on there in the 60s and 50s and whenever. But it wasn't much going on when I was growing up in the, in the 90s. Um, but it really caught my ear when I heard the old records and uh, slowly started meeting some of the old folks that are around from that era still and uh, catching up with the music. Yeah, me and Eli met through a guy named Peter Stample, the Holy Model Rounders. Yeah, I know Peter. <laughs> he was a guest on the show uh, oh, a great. couple years ago. Nice. Cool. Yeah, we play with him now in a band called Peter Stample and the Ether Frolic Mob. And we actually have an <laughs> album coming out this spring and uh, sort of we just mess around in New York a bunch. Cool. Yeah. So the, the three of us hooked up uh, sort of at Peter Stample's house, you know. That's where we first played together a couple of years ago. He taught us how to freak out and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and get paid for it. Not, not much. But <laughs> Good. Well, what else would you like to play for us? I think we got uh, Going Across the Sea for you is the next tune. Uh, Eli's going to play the harmonica <coughs> and sing. He kind of adapted a couple songs. We like to find a few different versions of old tunes and come up with our own. You know, In the old days, it's sort of people just put everything together and made a song out of it, took some verses from here and from there. Now a lot of people in the, you know, in the scene are kind of really worried about playing this person's version note for note and you know, getting that and did you know about this and that's not right. You know, We like to kind of just find our own way of playing it and do something new that's still old. You know. Cool. So here goes, going across the sea. Sounding real fine, boys. Sounds real good. 
So you've yeah. been uh, doing some touring. Yep, yeah, that tune was actually kind of, a, I want to say, one of the, the big hits of our last tour. We, we toured Bulgaria and Ireland uh, at the end of the summer. We had a, a deal through the U.S. Embassy over there playing some folk festivals, which a bunch of dance groups and bands from everywhere from Turkey to Hungary and France and Bosnia. And then before that, we were on the West Coast playing a couple festivals, out in the Northwest in particular. And before that, we were in Kentucky and Ohio. And we got a bunch of things coming up. It's great. We were really excited to get around and meet all the folks playing this music around the country and around the world. Wearing holes in those walking shoes. Yep. <laughs> That's for sure. Those driving shoes. <laughs> yeah, airports. Airports. The dustbusters tackle airport security. Yeah, <laughs> always, always fun. Usually they tackle us, but we decide to try and turn the tables and like, <laughs> go preemptive on them. Yeah, that's an interesting combination of countries: Bulgaria and yeah. Ireland. Well, they brought us over to Bulgaria, and we just figured while we're over there, we might as well play somewhere else. And we all kind of love Ireland and this music, and a lot of it comes from back there in some shape or form. So. It was great to play it for them. Yeah, they really liked it, and we're actually going back and playing the Bluegrass Festival this summer, and uh, we hope to spend a lot of time there in the future. Great. Yeah. What else you got for us, boys? Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll slow it down and have Walker sing you a waltz. This one uh, is called Waltz of the Roses, and it has a nice little intro that you might remember from Cowboy Waltz. So uh, <laughs> check it out. Don't go.
What was the source of that song? It comes from uh, uh, Prince, Prince Albert Hunt. Prince uh, Albert Hunt, a yeah. Texas fiddler. Texas. But that one, but that song is a, it's a mashup yeah. of a tune that's, I guess, known as the Cowboy Waltz, that one of the only fiddle tunes that Woody Guthrie recorded. Uh-huh. Uh, and then it's kind of like um, Jimmy Rogers waiting for a train, too. Yeah. So yeah, I heard that mixed in there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all every it's all it's just one. There's one, one big, song. one big folk song. <laughs> many slices. And Danville girl mixed in. Right. right yeah. 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 Absolutely. Got to get them all in there. Mash up. Cool. Well, folks should uh, can find out more information about you at your website, yep. which is dustbustersmusic.com. We got lots of videos on MySpace, YouTube, and all that jazz, and Facebook. We're gonna start tweeting soon. <laughs> Stepping into the 21st century. <laughs> You've got one fiction. recording out already. Yeah, we've got our first album, the, the self-titled Dustbusters album, and then we've got one coming out with John Cohen in the winter or spring, hopefully, and uh, one with Peter Stample and John Cohen, and then we'll have our own album coming out in the summer or so with Frank Fairfield playing a little bit on it and um, perhaps some other special guests. We like to play with other people too. Yeah. The Dustbusters family. Yeah. It's growing. Cool. What else would you like to play for us? I see you're set up for something. Yeah, I guess we'll break out the old manjo or banjolin, as it were. What was it? Banjo, mandolin, banjo, mandolin, banjo, mandolin. <laughs> Somewhere in there. That's the experience. Uh, yeah, this is one we, we, uh, we get from Ed Haley, a blind fiddler from Kentucky, who found, uh, it's called Catlettsburg, which is the town over there in somewhere in, I think, eastern Kentucky, west, 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 eastern West Virginia, Kentucky area. <laughs> it's in America. <laughs> the, the real America, I should know, not, not this uh, New York town. Anyway, so here goes Catlettsburg. It's a good old tune. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
saw the heck out of that fiddle. Yeah, <laughs> we had fun, you know. Well, gotta earn a living somehow, so <laughs> <laughs> might as well work for it. I'm famous. <laughs> you can call that working. Playing and working at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a good thing. It's just, yeah, real thankful to be uh, able to live in New York and play folk music and survive. <laughs> We play a lot. Um, we play around the city a lot, and we're, we're touring more and more these days. Um, we're often to be found at the Jalopy Theater. Uh, the Jalopy Theater and School of Music, it's kind of modeled on um, the early days of the o Old Town School of Folk Music in, in Chicago, but it's, uh -huh. it's a venue and as well as a music school. Craig and I teach there. I teach banjo. He teaches fiddle. And um, they have shows almost every night. Um, we're often to be found there, so that's really the center for, for folk music in New York City these days. Yeah, especially Wednesday nights, Jalopy. That's the free folk music night, and everybody should come down on, uh, on Wednesdays for the Roots and Ruckus show. It's a, it's a real good time. Also, you do a web radio broadcast? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's called Down Home Radio, downhomeradioshow.com. And, um, you know, I do uh, interviews uh, like this, occasionally on film, actually. We have a little down-home TV thing that's going on, but it's uh, mostly a radio show, but there's also, I post up old out-of-print LPs uh, that people might enjoy on there, and I make my own field recordings uh, of people that I, I find around the country as we're touring around that I like. So there's, there's a wealth of information on down-home radio. And it's people great. People can look that up. Yeah. What else would you like to play for us? I guess we gotta sing you some sort of ballad, you know. So. Well, if you have to. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the it was in the contract. Yeah. <laughs> the ballad contract. Contract with God. Folk music God. Well, anyway, so this one's um. <laughs> Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> this is one we uh, it's an old Civil War song about two soldiers that uh. Well. That died in the Civil War. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you live, you don't really well. I guess if you do something really good, you can get a song written after you. But generally, you have to die to make it into an old time song. Die or kill somebody, preferably your lover. Um, so, anyways, here it is. This is uh, the two soldiers. They're also known as the uh, Blue Eyed Boston Boy. And, uh, yep, here we go.
Very nice. Well, we just have time to say thanks for coming and plug your website one more time, dustbustersmusic.com. And uh, we got a little jam session to take it out with. Yeah. Right here. Sounds good. I'm going to play you guys one for the, from the Carter Brothers and Son. It's a great old group that plays a bunch of free will and old time, which is the way we like it. But this one's called um, Old Joe Bone. It's actually about a jawbone, but it's called Old Joe Bone. And uh, we're happy to have Ralph join us on harmonica for this one. Hey, Walker's going to pick up the fiddle, so he'll be in a double fiddle crazy time Magic. formation. All right. If you ain't right, get right. If you can't get right, act right. Now get up and let's go. Let's go. 